Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here, you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're watching. Today I am unboxing something I've never unboxed on this channel before. We bought a mystery box of comics from Goodwill Blue Box. They have available a box of 20 comics for $19.99. And then after shipping, it's $26.99 for a box of 20 comics. The description here says 20 comics for $19.99, an assorted variety of comic books from Marvel to DC to TMNT. Issues can range from vintage 80s back issues to contemporary issues from the early 2000s and later. So I went ahead and ordered one just to have something different. This is actually for Keith to do, so I'm going to unbox it on this channel with you. We're going to look at the comics together, and then I'm passing the whole thing to Keith, and he's going to do all the photographing and listing of these comics. Um, but it's just something different. I do a lot of plush. I do a lot of jeans, and I enjoy both. They're both my absolute favorite items to list, source, photograph, all that stuff. But just to shake things up a little bit, I ordered a box of comics. I also ordered a box of jewelry, which I'll be unboxing next on this channel. I'm really shaking things up in 2024. It's time to try new things. Worst case, we paid a dollar a comic in this box. We make our money back. Best case, we make a little bit of money and I like it well enough or Keith likes it well enough that we order another one. Um, but it's just, I want to try new things this year. I want to at least try them. I don't have to order comics all the time. It doesn't have to be our new thing. It might be. I don't know. There's something different, something new to try. So Keith has prepped this for me. He's already opened the box and he's opened the poly bag inside for me. So I can just pull these comics out and look at them with you guys. All right. We have, I should probably put my eyeballs on so I can see, so I can read. The Adventures of Superman, 1993, episode 31. This is bagged and boarded. And if you're not a nerd, <laughs> uh, these cardboard backings that go in the back of the comic inside of a bag or a sleeve are the boards. And this is just bagged and boarded. I am a collector of certain comics, and I do like comic books, so I kind of know some of this. Um, but this is really Keith's wheelhouse, and I think he's going to have a lot of fun with these. We have Justice League from 1993, October, episode 81. A lot of DC here. Reign of the Superman bonus Man of Tomorrow poster. Oh, this is cool. It's got a step back cover or a cutout. I call them step backs because in the paperback world, like the old VC Andrews original like bars in the attic from the 80s would have these cutouts like this with a bigger portrait inside and they're called the step back covers. Anyway, this is 1993. No, we fake. We have Wally the Wizard. This is August. I don't see a year, but it was only 65 cents. So this is probably very old because you can't even make a phone call or buy a piece of gum for 65 cents anymore. Um, look at the back. Look how cute and old. Part three of four, Batman year. Three, this doesn't have a date right on the cover any either. Um, when Keith goes to photograph and list these and stuff, he'll go into all those details. We have Who's Who, the definitive directory of the DC universe. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is from 1987. And oh my gosh, the Who's Who of the DC universe. It's like a Really cool roll call of other characters. Um, Legendaires Under the Sea, 1993. Look at that. That's old school. 
X-Men, Marvel Comics. This one's really neat. This is um, October. It says by a year. It was $3.95 originally, so it's probably 90s. Captain Marvel. $1.50 originally. Captain Marvel. Oh, this one's got a little bend in it, too. That's something you have to pay attention to because you do have to grade these and rate these. Some of these comic book collectors are very serious business. And then on the back here, we have an advertisement, as my mother used to say, an advertisement for the monstrous compendium for the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And believe it or not, I did have that original copy in high school of the monstrous compendium when I used to play d and I'm really... Um, admitting how much of a nerd I am in this video. If you were wondering what comics I collect, I have a lot of the Harley Quinn and Joker comics, a lot of the new Harley Quinn. I do collect the Doctor Who comics and some various other Wonder Woman and just characters I like. I don't really have like a comprehensive, I'm trying to get this comic or collect this series. I just collect what I like, and I really do like the Doctor Who. I do have some real old comics they used to make off of Anne Rice's books. I remember being back in high school, and that was something I went on the hunt for and would collect. They did um, Vampire Lestat and Queen of the Damned in comic book form. Those were really cool. I still have those. They are bagged, boarded, and put in a box and kept safe. I do like reading comics. I like comic book movies. I used to play. I I would still play D and D if I could get a group together. To be honest, even if it was just like an online group doing a Zoom call, I would play D and D. I love World of Warcraft. And like I said, this is the video for me to really admit how much of a nerd I am. This is the Impact Comics, The Fly, from nineteen ninety one. We have another, this is just in a bag. It doesn't have a board. But this is uh, World's Finest, Superman and Batman. Number one. Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my gosh. I love them. So does Keith. We love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We like to play their video games together, too. Um, this is just so cool. Well, I have a feeling somebody might be reading this before he lists it. <laughs> then we have Detective Comics Batman. This is 1994. Back when Batman was a detective. He's still a detective. But I, I've had this conversation with Keith. I feel like in my youth, it was more impressed upon us that he was the detective and helped solve crimes. And now, you know, in modern day movies, he's more of a superhero. The Web, originally a dollar in 1991. And we have a ad for the Lone Ranger on the back. I like the ads. Sometimes in these old comics, the ads are like just as fun as the actual comic itself. Because you can remember like toys and shows and just kind of nostalgia. This is Radioactive Man and it was originally 12 cents. But on the back, we have number 37 of the Simpsons comics. So this is one of those that halfway through you got the book facing one way for the Simpsons, and then you flip it over for the other story. And we have an ad for the 1998 Oreo stacking contest. And these ads are just as fun as the comics, I think. We have Planet of the Symbiote from 1995. This one's kind of seen better days. Someone definitely enjoyed this and read it a lot it's been held and read and loved and enjoyed we got adverts in here adverts now i'm saying adverts 
um, combo man is simply required. Look at this. This is so stinking cool. Makes me feel old, but I love nostalgia. Looking back, we have the Scarlet Spider on the other side. Looking back is fun. This is Peter Porker. <laughs> oh my gosh, the ad on the back is for Popples. I have a Popple sitting over here that just uh, went through the washing machine and got her bath and she's gonna get photographed and listed soon. This was originally 75 cents in 1986. And yes, Popples are a vintage plushie. Side note, those are Bolo if you find them. Do you remember these? Anyway, spider pig, spider pig. Star gamers. I'm looking for a date. Don't see one right offhand. And on the back, we have Juicy Gummy. Look at these. So cool. Night Quest, Detective Comics. Comics, 1993. And on the back, we have an ad for Sega Genesis and Super NES. Old school. Nothing makes you feel old like this, huh? And last but not least, we have Scarlet Couture. And we have an ad on the back for Rivers of London here. This is, I believe, 2015. So this is a newer one. Kind of neat, though. Got glossy pages inside. So I just want to count these real quick. Two, four. They say you get 20, but sometimes people say you get more. So we're going to count mine. Six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So someone's counting and I got exactly the 20 I was supposed to get. I'm going to hand these over to Keith and let him do the photos and the listing and just have something a little bit different in our store and just something different to, you know, list once in a while. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments. And again, you can get this from the Goodwill Blue Box website. I'll have it in the description box for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you again for watching. Bye.